Hello, this is Brother Ralph Garcia, and I'll be doing my devotion on Psalms 104, 11 through 20. We serve an amazing God. This psalm is pure praise to God who is so amazing. God is clothed in splendor. This psalm paints a picture of God as all-powerful as someone who torches mountains and causes them to smoke. Someone who only has to look at the earth and cause it to tremble. When you have time, read the whole psalm to get a further picture that the psalmist is painting. God creates and cares for his creation, which in turn gives glory to God. The psalmist observes the world around him and credits God with creating and sustaining it. The psalm looks around at the world and sees the work of God everywhere. He cannot help but praise God. Often we separate our lives into secular and sacred. Part of our life is very sp spiritual, church, quiet time, growth group, but then the rest of our life is ordinary and unspiritual. We come to church and we praise God. And then during the week we act as if God does not exist. Yet the psalmist sees God everywhere. He sees the work of God in all areas all over the earth. He marvels at the works of God, and he cannot help but praise God. For the psalmist, there is no part of life God is not being marved. There is no part of life where we are not to be amazed by God. Do you divide your life into sacred and secular? The psalmist through lived before Jesus. If he is able to marvel at the work of God, then surely we have even more reason. We who have come to know and believe in the love and grace of God poured out in his Son, the great victory of God through death and resurrection of Jesus, should give us even more reason to be marveled at, his God, at God. God should amaze us even more now that God has given us a living hope. The psalmist praises God because of the world he has created and sustained. Now we praise God as a father who loves and cares for us, who has given us a living hope and an inheritance that can never fade. It is worth remembering in our difficult times that our God showed, who showed his love through a saving work of Jesus is also the one who controls the course of a COVID virus. In ways we might not understand, he wants us to be isolated and to experience all the hardships, loneliness, and frustrations. We can still marvel at what he is doing in our lives. And I'm going to close with a prayer. Abba, I praise you as the God who creates and sustains. Every aspect of life is under your control. There is nothing that escapes your gaze. Your works are all around us every second of every day. Yet I praise your greatest work, the sending of Jesus into the world. I thank you that Jesus died and rose again, so now I can call on you as Father. I thank you that my sin has been taken away, and now I have a living hope in Jesus. Help me to see your works every second of every day. Help me in the day-to-day -day grind of life to see your works in this world. Help me to marvel at your works even in the places that seem so far removed from me. Help me to see your works everywhere so that I cannot help but praise you. I pray all this because of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Amen.